Hey guys, welcome to Diecast Reviews. So I'm doing a review on Wave 8 of the Lionel NASCAR Authentics Diecast. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a review on a Wave, but finally found all of Wave 8, so uh, uh, we can do a video on it. I know I'm doing this before Wave 7, but I haven't found much from Wave 7, so uh, yeah, Wave 8 uh, is the first one. So I'll take a look at the cars here. Uh, there's some pretty cool cars in this Wave. So we've got the uh, Jeff Gordon, uh, like iRacing one. Uh, they've made uh, the Rainbow Warrior Jeff Gordon a lot of times here, but I'm not sure if this is the first time it's been on the, on the uh, Camaro um, body. Uh, I know they've made it on a Chevy SS body um, quite a bit. Uh, they made like a William Byron thing. I've seen, I guess the William Byron throwback would count as a uh, Camaro body car, but uh, yeah, they've made this a lot. Uh, but no surprise to see it made again, I guess, every time uh, it's going to run in an iRacing race or a throwback or whatever. It's going to be made. Um, although I think I think there was an Xfinity throwback to this car once, and that one didn't get made, but uh, I guess Cup Series only. So, uh, yeah, the Shell Penzoil piece, this one uh, was the Chase piece, or the uh, Liquid Fusion one, Liquid whatever one, but, uh, um, yeah, I didn't find it. Uh, but, yeah, there's the Jeff Gordon one. Obviously, I've got also the Jimmy Johnson White Ally Scheme. Uh, pretty cool. He ran this, obviously, at the end of the season. Uh, towards the latter half of the season, didn't really help him in his results, but uh, still pretty cool to get it. Uh, this one took me the longest to find. Uh, I found all of these in one go, except the Joey Logano Penzoil one. I guess people thought just this car was the chase piece and not, uh, not, uh, the, there was a special one of it. I don't know, but, uh, this one took a while to find, but I finally found it. I've got two Thor Sport trucks here in this wave, which is pretty cool as well. I've got the Matt Crafton 88, uh, Menards one, Mold Armor, and the Johnny Sauter Tenda, uh, number 13, two Ford uh, uh, F-150s. So it's pretty cool to get them both in this wave. Uh, we've got a Noah Gregson uh, Bass Pro Shops one. Uh, looks like it's a race winner from the uh, Daytona race, uh, Xfinity Daytona race in February. Um, Alex Bowman, uh, NOCO uh, like Patriotic car number 88. Uh, Austin Dillon Bass Pro Shops. Uh, so we've got two Bass Pro Shops cars and a Denny Hamlin uh, throwback from for Federal for FedEx, but uh, Federal Express on the car. Um, so uh, yeah, I'll start with the Alex Bowman one, I guess, just because probably most outdated at this point. Um, uh, free magnet, there's the package. Uh, no code, whatever that is. Um, patriotic scheme here. But uh, here is the car out of the package. Uh, I guess let's take a look at the magnet first. Here it is. NOCO number 88, Alex Bowman. I don't have a clue what NOCO is, but um, uh, patriotic schemes are always, are always pretty cool. And uh, here is the car. Obviously, uh, dark blue here for the middle of the car, I guess. And you've got red all around. Um, or not all around, but you've got red in the front. And then you've got some lighter blue here and some white stars. Uh, pretty uh, clean logo, I guess, for no code, literally just the text. Um, uh, no cont contingency sponsors. Um, I like how this is done on the side here. We've got the red, the white, and some sh different shades of blue. Exalta, Lumar, Mac Tools, some other ChevyGoods.com, Microsoft Valvoline. Some other sponsors here. No code. again. Alex Bowman there, the American Ethanol. Um, Gas cap thing, ChevyGoods.com, uh, NOCO, NOCO, and uh, obviously number 88 right there, number 88 right there. Um, pretty cool scheme, uh, not as patriotic as some schemes, but mm, I mean, you get the gist, it's a patriotic scheme, literally just by the colors, the blue and red here. Um, yeah, a uh, pretty cool scheme, I really can't say much negative about it. One criticism I would, I will have of the scheme is that it's a too dark of a blue. Um, I think patriotic schemes are definitely better if you have the uh, lighter blue, kind of like what you have on the side here. Um, that definitely would work better than um, this dark blue that they have, but whatever. Um, so, a pretty cool car. Uh, usually, when they release patriotic cars, they release them all in like one wave, but uh, they put him by himself. So interesting, but whatever. Um, still a pretty cool car to get the Alex Bowman at Noco. Um, Number 88, and uh, let's get 
to a, a classic, I guess, but one that we've seen a lot, the Jeff Gordon uh, Rainbow Warrior car. Um, yeah, we've seen this one before. Even in the NASCAR Authentics, uh, they've released it. So, not really new. Um, got the uh, Jeff Gordon card here. I don't know if it says anything on the back. Uh, oh, I guess it is. Uh, Gordon brings back iconic scheme for iRacing Finale. Uh, you, you can pause that and read that. Um, I don't, I, like I said, I can't remember, I, the William Byron throwback, I think they released, uh, obviously that was on a Camaro, but I don't know if we've ever had a Jeff Gordon, number 24, released on a, a Camaro, uh, Rainbow Warrior throwback, whatever, but, or whatever, but, um, I, yeah, the Rainbow Warrior car has been seen quite a bit, like, um, recently, I, like, yeah, it's nice, I, I obviously, I really like the car, but, I don't know, they're kind of, every time they get a chance to they release it um and it seems like they run it every time they get a chance to like they didn't run it for so long and then from like 2015 on they've run it uh for uh, every time that they can but um it's a nice car obviously the rainbow warrior scheme doesn't need any introduction um really nice scheme um obviously exalta is a sponsor of this um but, uh yeah we don't have much to say about it so it's, a, it's a nice scheme but uh kind of over really over released and overused recently um yeah, obviously you can tell why it's rain, the rainbow warrior scheme um nice colors or the, like the orange there and the blue is kind of spectra flame a little bit kind of metallic there you can kind of see it right there kind of metallic um you just got the uh, number 24 there camaro and uh yeah i don't actually know what car william number william brown would have ran in the i racing race if uh, Jeff Gordon ran the 24. I'm not sure if he ran like the 40. Well, he couldn't have run the 42. Maybe he ran the 25 or something or the 44. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Uh, a nice scheme. Not much to go over. Obviously, everyone knows the Rainbow Warrior scheme. Um, but that doesn't uh, take away from the fact that it's a very nice scheme. Even if it is over and over-released. Has been released and over-released lately. Uh, still a very nice scheme. So there's the Jeff Gordon Eric Salta scheme. And uh, moving on, let's move on to a Xfinity car, the only one in the wave, Noah Gregson, number nine, um, Daytona Beach, uh, Florida there. See, Daytona uh, NASCAR Racing Experience 300, whatever champion uh, won the, uh, basically they, 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 the season opener for the Xfinity cars, uh, he won it. And this is a raced version, but from the side and the front, it looks very clean. Um, let's take a look at the other side. That's a, I mean, I guess there you can kind of this is, that that would be where you burn the tires out. Um, I don't know. this is I like these kind of race cars where it's a race it's a race car it's a race version of a car, but there's no confetti, so it looks clean. Like a race version is not a car that is in victory lane. It's the car that's on the track before it got to victory lane. It's the car that took the checkered flag, or I guess in this case, um, left the track. Uh, the car that, uh, I guess the, uh, the car that pulled into victory lane, let's put it that way. Not the car that left a victory lane, but the car that pulled into victory lane. Um, those are raced versions in my mind. Uh, anyways, enough complaining about raced versions and how they do them, because, uh, there's a whole raced, uh, winner's wave coming up, um, and uh, that'll be a fun video, but, uh, Bass Pro Shop's obviously, obviously the sponsor of this car, so you've got kind of like a camo thing going on in the background there. Um, True Timber Camo, I guess. Uh, there you go, and uh, whatever that signature is. But um, yeah, there's a Bass Pro Shop. So the Bass Pro Shops usually have some pretty nice cars with the fluorescent orange. I really like that. I oh, will see that in the Austin Dillon one. And the way they like work the black, the gray, and all that into each other, I think it looks very nice, especially on this car here. You've got like, the bla black hood here. Uh, the design's pretty cool. How it goes up like the orange and the yellow kind of goes up, and then it kind of comes down here, and then that's where you've got your uh, black and uh, camo look going on, and then everything else kind of like a Zaymac, uh, silver, I guess, you've got the fluorescent orange numbers, um, looks very nice, so you've got Black Rifle, Rifle Coffee is another sponsor on this car, Exalta, the American flag there, and some other, uh, logos right there, some other sponsors, um, TrueTimber.com, True Timber Camo, Camo, something else that sponsors this car, I guess, I'm not sure what it is, but it is, I guess that's why the, uh, Camo is there for that, or Bass, I guess it's there for Bass Pro, but it also works for the uh, Camo company there. 
Black Rifle Coffee Company, Camaro there, number nine. Um, and then I'm sure the size is the same, but you've got some uh, detailing there uh, for the uh, tire explosion uh, along the tire route. And obviously, Brand is down there as well. Um, yeah, fluorescent number nine. Um, yeah, uh, no, I mean, I like it. I like the car. Uh, I like the paint scheme. Obviously, you got some tape there on the grill for the erased version. But uh, yeah, I like the I like the car. Uh, I like the paint scheme. This thing looks pretty nice. Uh, let's take a look at the card here. Uh, there's the front, and then uh, let's look some statistics. Drivers, 11 minutes, 44 seconds. He started 12th, 120 uh, laps, seven caution, uh, seven cautions for 28 laps. He led, he led 15 laps in the uh, margin of victory. The race ended under caution. Apparently, um, I can't really, I can't really remember the 2020 Xfinity race. I don't even know if I watched it, but um, uh, pretty cool car. Let's give it a ride on the turntable here. Uh, so that is the Noah Gregson Xfinity Daytona winner. Interesting uh, roof flap there. I guess that's the roof hatch, actually. I uh, like here where he would pop out of the car. But um, uh, let's move on to a throwback scheme. Kind of interesting. Same with the, uh, kind of like the um, uh, Patriotic schemes, usually they put the throwback schemes in all in a wave, and I think that's what uh, Wave 9 is. It's got a bunch of throwback schemes in here, but uh, they put the Denny Hamlin throwback in a wave of his own. Um, I kind of wish we would get just the regular Denny Hamlin car for once. I mean, we haven't done it for a while, but so I kind of wish we would just get the regular Denny Hamlin car, but uh, this throwback's pretty nice uh, nonetheless. Uh, here it is. Uh, yeah. Looks, looks very nice. I'll take a look at the hood, the Federal Express number 11. Pretty cool hood. There's the back to it, NASCAR Authentics, made in uh, China. But here's the car. Um, yeah, looks looks pretty nice. Um, I don't know, the, the number font's a little uh, different. But um, the purple, obviously the shade of purple as well, like it's kind of throwing me off. Usually uh, the FedEx colors are a bit different it's the same white but i believe the purple is a bit darker i want to say i'm not sure it's definitely not this shade of purple and the orange definitely not that shade of orange either and the font of it's just it's it's the fedex car but a little different that's kind of throwing me off here but uh there you can see the federal express and uh that's a pretty cool logo i'm not gonna lie i do i do like the fedex logo it's got like uh i think an arrow where it's like the uh d and the uh, e or the e and the x one of the one of the two where the letters meet there's like a arrow uh, in there, it's pretty cool, but um, pretty cool logo here as well. Kind of like the orange, honestly. You know, just kind of interesting shade of orange, but I do like it, and I like how the purple and the white meets around the hood. Uh, we go to the side. Obviously, you've got the purple kind of going up the car, and then you've got white on the bottom here. No contingency sponsors whatsoever. Got the uh, number eleven right there. Freightliner, Mac Tools, Sharon Williams, some other sponsors there. So many race to win flags, uh, stickers, six of them. Uh, obviously, Federal Express right there. Uh, Goodyear Tire is kind of a little blank, uh, but that is how they ran them at Darlington, I would assume. Uh, obviously, this video, I'll, I'm recording it uh, for the Friday before the uh, Darlington throwback race for 2021. Um, it'll probably come out a week later. Obviously, the number 11 there, Federal Express, Federal Express, Federal Express. Um, yeah, I kind of like how you've got, like, this orange stripe kind of separating the purple and the white. I don't know, kind of all fits together, and I like how it kind of goes all the way around the car. It kind of makes a, uh, interesting kind of shaped rectangle here. Um, goes down, up, comes around, the, uh, deck lid goes down. Looks really nice, and got the purple inside the rectangle and the white outside of it. Looks pretty cool, except you've got some purple back here spilling out. But, um, yeah, pretty, pretty, really, really cool car. I'll see, uh, looking at the throwback, uh, yeah, definitely really nice. Didn't think I was going to like it that much, but uh, definitely a very nice throwback. So let's give it a ride on the turntable here. So there's the uh, Denny Hamlin FedEx throwback scheme. Um, I would assume he's throwing back to FedEx something or other, some, some FedEx throwback. But uh, let's move on to, um, I guess let's move on to... Uh, Joey Logano here. His uh, standard scheme is Pennzoil scheme. Um, the only Ford like uh, Mustang, Ford Cup car in this wave. You got a uh, 
We got two Ford trucks, but the only Ford Cup car in this wave. Um, I guess Denny Hamlin's the only uh, Toyota at all in this wave. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get him into the package here. Obviously, we got uh, we got the uh, AAA scheme for Logano before we got this scheme, which is kind of interesting. But here it is, and let's take a look at the hood. Uh, pretty cool how you've got the uh, detail there. Um, Pennzoil number twenty-two, Joey Logano, and on the back. Kind of interesting how the uh, Toyota hoods have the Toyota logo on the back, but these hoods, the Ford hoods, don't. And the Ford logo on the back. Uh, so let's take a look at the. Uh, Spenzel scheme, which has been the same since what 2011. Um, yeah, I think 2011's literally been the same exact uh, scheme. Um, yeah, not I mean, sure, you might have a different few different sponsors here and there. Auto Trader, I think Snap On's been there since like I can remember it definitely since 2013, it being on there for sure. Um, um Discount Tire, I'm pretty sure, has been on there for a while. Uh, AAA may have come on there a little later, maybe. Maybe like 2012 as well. I don't know. These these sponsors have consistently stayed the same. The only sponsor I can think of at the top of my head that have are, are new are Auto Trader right there and Money Line right there. Uh, maybe PPG right there on the uh, A post or whatever. But mostly sponsors have stayed the same. We've got obviously Shell Pennzoil, the main sponsor. Um, Discount Tower has been on there for a while. Snap One has been on there for a while. I assume Coca Cola has been on there for a while as well. Bosch. Um, so. Yeah, Penske, I give credit where credit's due. They've uh, kept a bunch of sponsors intact while uh, gaining new ones. And uh, they don't change their schemes every year. Uh, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Uh, I don't know. Kind of like this scheme. Not bad. The uh, Shell Penzoil scheme. Uh, the yellow and the red work together. And uh, I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, I don't I don't think it's a bad scheme. Obviously, we've seen it for a while now. Um, really, since 2011, we've seen it. Um, since Kurt Busch drove it, but uh, let's see, I think it looks okay, and uh, clearly Roger Penske think it, it thinks it looks okay. His designers think it's, it looks okay, um, because uh, they don't change it. Um, yeah, I don't know how much to go over with it because uh, it's such a standard scheme, but it does look pretty nice, and it looks nice to get it on the uh, Mustang body. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, I, not much to really not much to say here. It looks it looks, it looks okay. It looks nice. Uh, and they don't change it, so it's a standard scheme. We've seen this it's literally since 2011, like I've said multiple times. Um, so 10 years, and uh, I guess, I don't know if they'll change it when they go to the next-gen car in 2022. Um, I'm not sure if they'll change it or not, or it's just going to be the same scheme. But, because uh, they didn't change it when they went to the Gen 6 car. So, uh, yeah, we've seen that scheme for a while, um, but uh, Roger clearly doesn't think it needs to be changed. So let's look at a, a truck here. The Matt Craft and Thor Sport truck. Um, now don't get me wrong. I like that. Uh, I like that line now has uh, brought the truck casting into the lineup. But uh, they literally seem to they seem to release three teams and three teams only: Thor Sport, GMS, and Nice. For whatever reason, Nice Motorsports gets a lot of diecast released. Like every number of theirs gets released: 40, 42, 44, 45, whatever numbers they want, they get released. Um, Obviously, Thor Sport and GMS kind of the two bigger teams. Um, Kyle Busch Motorsports doesn't get that many die casts as Nice Motorsports gets, so that's kind of interesting. But uh, I'm assuming because Plan B sales sponsors them, and Plan B makes sure, make sure, uh, make sure all their uh, schemes, all their schemes get uh, made. But uh, this is a Matt Craft, and obviously not the standard Menard scheme. It's the Mold Armor scheme, uh, which I guess Menards kind of does what. Uh, Target did. Uh, you've got Menards, obviously a sponsor, but then they've got companies that are sold in Menards, helping them pay for the sponsorship. And then they get their hood, their name on the hood and whatnot. So uh, Menards has done this since literally for it's been a while. Like they've got Peak. Uh, they do the same thing with Ryan Blaney. They do they have like Peak sponsoring it. Richmond Water Heaters. They did the same thing with Paul Menard uh, in twenty when he drove for RCR. So Mar Menards has done this for a while. And uh, obviously, this is the mold armor version of the Matt Crafton car. Um, uh, pretty cool. Menard just obviously hasn't changed their design. Kind of like Roger Penske, Menard just kept their design throughout their cars the same. Um, got the, uh, obviously, the Menard's logo, the bright yellow color, and the orange uh, design here. A random yellow thing right there on the pillar. Um, 
built Ford Tough. Menards, I yield. But obviously, you've got some more sponsors here as well that some of these may have uh, may get time on the hood as well. Um, Jack Links, I think, gets some uh, hood area. Great Lakes Flooring may see Mold Armor, a uh, Flex Seal right there, Slim Jim, and some other sponsors. Chasta may get some hood time as well. Um, seat belt there, Wicks, Water Heaters. I've just got some more sponsors here. So, uh, Menards, clever, clever marketing uh, ways, I guess. To get uh to to get promotion, but also get their companies who uh, get sell their stuff at Menards uh, get promotions as well. Uh, Menards, Matt Craft in eighty eight. There's your magnet. Uh, so let's give him a ride on the turntable here. So there is the Matt Craft number eighty eight uh, Ford F one fifty, and uh, let's move on. We've got three cars left. I'm not sure if these are my three favorite or not. They're definitely up there um, with my top three. Uh, definitely more, more of my favorites in these waves, in this wave. Uh, here's the Austin Dillon uh, Bass Pro Shops number three. Oh, this is a sticker. Um, I guess it, it did say free sticker right there. Um, I don't remember. I think he won in the Bass Pro Shops car in Texas. I'm not sure. Uh, but I think he might have. But uh, I don't know. Obviously, here's the uh, uh, sticker or whatever. Bass Pro Shops, Austin Dillon, number three. Um, we can compare the logos, I guess, here. This one's a little more clear, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, there you go. Comparing the logos between the uh, Austin Dillon and Noah Gregson cars. Um, um, I think I might may like this Bass Pro Shops car more than Noah, Noah Gregson one because... It's got more fluorescent orange on it, um, and then just it's not just the numbers that are fluorescent. It's literally like you've got the roof of the car fluorescent, the deck lid. You've got more of the uh, the fluorescent orange stripe is uh, bolder. Um, so I think I make may like this one more. Obviously, you've got a black hood here, and you've literally got a black number three here on the side um, with the red, literally a red outline as well. Uh, I guess fluorescent orange, but from far away, it kind of looks like a red outline. I mean, a black paint for a black number three. Um, I've seen Tracker Off-Road. Um, a lot of time with sponsors with uh, Bass Pro Shops. I think it's uh, it's kind of like Menards. I think it sells their stuff in the, in uh, Bass Pro Shops stores. American Ethanol is a sponsor of Austin Dillon. Same with Dow Chemicals. I guess it's kind of the three companies that really sponsor them. American Ethanol, Dow, and Bass Pro Shops. Uh, so I've seen Tracker Off-Road there. Um... Simicord or whatever. I think it's the one. I think it's that. That's the company that has those like uh, grant. Like you do sometimes grant book commercials. A uh, real tree there, um, and some other companies right there. Coca Cola, uh, BassPro.com, Esgo, whatever that is. Tracker, Tracker Off Road, and uh, Okama, and uh, the Camaro there. So uh, I really like this paint scheme. We've got the black, we've got the orange, and we've got the gray. It all works together. And like I said, I really like how the fluorescent orange here is on the uh, roof and the deck lid of the car. And uh, yeah, yeah, I think this uh, this car works, and I like it. Uh, so let's give it a ride on the turntable here. So there's the Austin Dillon number three Bra Bass Pro Shops. Uh, you've got two more cars here. A uh, car and a truck, I guess. Let's uh, go with the truck. The Johnny Sauter, number 13, Thor Sport Racing um, Tenda truck. Get that out of the package. There it is. Uh, kind of similar to the uh, Matt Crafton one and how it's uh, it's designed. It's got, like, uh, colored and it's colored in the back. Uh, it's even got the same like uh, thing here where the color meets the uh, silver. It's got the uh, silver in the front here. It's got the same like design here on the uh, pillar there. That's stupid, in my opinion. Uh, same design there, and then you've got the blue going in the same spot that the yellow does. It's even got the same like cutoff there. Um, really interesting. It's literally the same design, just different colors. Um, I guess. I guess. I guess it's kind of cool. You've got. Uh, trucks or cars or teammates having the same uh, design but it's different colors kind of like what Penske does I guess it's kind of cool but um, 
yeah, here's the uh, Tenda, whatever Tenda is, a uh, equine and pet care product um, for Johnny Sauter. Um, interesting company, never heard of it. Ford F-150 there. Of course, I also don't have a pet, so um, yeah. But uh, it's a cool scheme. I really like the uh, turquoise in the back here, this uh, turquoise teal blue, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's kind of nice outline of a horse there. Ride TV, Tenda. Uh, Curb Records, uh, he was involved in the uh, Phil Parsons number 98 car effort. Um, quite a bit, actually. Uh, so, interesting to see him sponsoring a Thor Sport car. Uh, Tenda, I guess that's what their product looks like. That's kind of cool. I do like, I also like when the company, like, literally puts a picture of what their product looks like. It looks like on the car somewhere. Like, I think Body Armor does that with how their cans look or whatever. Or the, uh, their bottles, I guess. On uh, the Ryan Blaney car. Um, Tenda heal there, apparently. Um, yeah. Pretty cool shark. Actually, I probably like this one more than the Matt Crafton one. Because uh, of the color and whatnot. Um, see number 13. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's the Johnny Sauter Ford F-150. Also has the same license plate here thing that the Fords do as the, uh, cup cars do. I'm not sure if the Xfinity cars have that or not, but, uh, I assume they do, considering two of the three do. Uh, so let's give him a ride on the turntable here. So my turntables are starting to get tired here. Uh, let's get a ride here. So there's the uh, John Solder number 13 Tenda Ford F-150. And uh, here's the magnet if I didn't really show it. There it is. And uh, moving on to the last car in this way. Um, I would assume this is the fan favorite out of this way, but I'm not sure, but... The white ally scheme or the rally scheme for Jimmy Johnson. Um, oh yeah, get it out of the package. Um, I'm not sure if there's a there's a statistic out there that shows how well he did in the black ally car versus the white ally car. Um, I don't really think he did much better in this one than the uh, black one, but um, obviously there is the uh, magnet. Or what not? Or what not? Uh, Forty-eight, Jamie Johnson, ally. Uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty cool, I guess. And uh, here's the car itself. I would assume it's literally just the black replaced with white. Um, I have the black version, obviously. It's in a wave or what? I think it was in wave six, wave five, one of the waves. Um, so I'd assume it's literally just the black ally. Um, black scheme black uh, paint on the ally scheme replaced with the white paint um i would assume that's how they did it but i'm not sure but obviously you've got the ally logo that's kind of interesting or like like q lie or whatever it kind of looks like a q down here um weird logo but okay just got the uh kind of pretty cool design here i guess with the uh, boxes and whatnot different colored pur shades of purple number 48 hendrickcars.com which uh Kind of the main sponsor of Kyle Larson's car. Because he doesn't have a sponsor. Freightliner there. I guess that actually sponsors Kyle Larson's car sometimes as well. Microsoft Valvoline. JJ there. 48 Ally. Ally. Number A. Not the number A. The letter A. Uh, getting tired here. Ally. 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 Do it right. Valvoline. 48. Pretty cool. Uh, purple here on the back. Shade of purple there. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I don't, I'm not sure if I like the white ally scheme or the black ally scheme more. Obviously, he didn't win in any of it in any of uh, in any of them. So um, one would one would have probably been more popular than the other had he won in one of them, but he didn't. So uh, yeah, I think the white ally scheme works as well. I do like it as well, but I also like the black ally scheme. Um, so I'm not sure. Not sure which one I like more, but uh, both of them are pretty cool. And uh, let's give it a ride on the turntable here. Obviously, Alex Bowman has kind of returned to the black ally scheme now that he's running the ally car. So I'd assume the white ally scheme just been, was just that thing for half the season to try and get Jimmy Johnson to uh, turn his life around or whatever. But it obviously didn't work. Didn't even make the playoffs. So uh, there is the uh, white Jimmy Johnson ally scheme. And uh, that is... That should do it for my review on Wave 8. I guess let's get my top three out here. I'm not really sure. Um, there's a bunch of cars that are pretty cool in this Wave. I think I have to get the uh, Johnny Sauter one up here. I'm not sure. Um, I like the Austin Dillon one as well. 
Um, it's kind of a tough choice. Like I, I, I thought for sure the Austin Dillon, Johnny Sauter, and uh, Jimmy Johnson would be my top three, but that Denny Hamlin uh, throwback scheme is really making it tough to choose. I, I think I have to put the Jimmy Johnson one up here, but again, I'm not, I'm not sure. Both of these are really, really nice. I, this, this, this Federal Express FedEx scheme is really making it tough to choose. Yeah, I guess I'll go with the Dillon one, but the Denny Hamlin is a almost tied up there with Austin Dillon, and I think it would have to be Austin Dillon third, Jimmy Johnson second, and Johnny Sauter. Uh, truck is my favorite, but that Denny Hamlin scheme can literally be right here as well with Austin Dillon. It's it, it's a... I liked it way more than I thought I would have, so... Um, yeah. Uh, there's my top three. Let me know your top three in the comments below, and uh, thank you for watching Sphere, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!